Hello everyone, Sean here once again, and we are back with another new puzzle. This is Symbol, and has been uh, requested by a viewer, so thank you for that. Uh, this is a very interesting puzzle. It is very similar to Wordle, except for the fact that instead of colored uh, indicators of where your uh, letters are correct or correct in the wrong position, you get symbols off to the side. So it is slightly different in that number one, these symbols actually correspond to the location of the answer, not the location of your guess. So, for example, here this S and K in shook actually correspond to uh, the blue uh, water droplets, meaning that the um, what would appear yellow in a traditional Wordle puzzle wouldn't appear in 4 and 5 here. They would appear where they're supposed to go in 1 and 4. Uh, the other difference here is that we have three different types of symbols and we don't know what they mean. So we're not sure if in this puzzle, when we first, if this example puzzle, when we first get this uh, red sun or red light, uh, we're not sure if that means incorrect, correct in the wrong position, or correct and in the right position. We have to gather that as we move through the puzzle. Um, so I think it's really interesting. Let's check it out. Uh, as always, if you know this puzzle yourself before seeing the answer here, feel free to pause the video and go to symbol.app. If you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. But for now, let's jump into today's puzzle. Okay. We, ha <coughs> we have some green O's, and we have a lot of them. I'm going to be tempted to think that that means that these are just plain wrong, that the S, I, E, and A are not going to be in the puzzle at all. Uh, the G, we don't know if this means that it is in the right position. Um, actually, I think we do, because if it was in the wrong position, it would tell us the, the symbol would go somewhere else. Uh, now, this could be the case where S, I, E, and A are all correct, but in the wrong position, in which case this purple, uh, basically D-pad from a controller, um, would really mean not in the puzzle, and the circles would just mean I have to move these around somewhere. But I'm going to be operating under the pretense that the G is correct. Um, so I'm going to go with the word ought. Okay. That's interesting. So the G doesn't mean that. And the purple cross doesn't mean that. This is confusing me now. So... Why would the G give me a different answer in the do each set of symbols mean something different? They couldn't possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go back and, and take a look at this again. So this in the first position can, corresponds to the S in shake, meaning the letter I'm covering is not present in your guess. That's what we think our green circles are. The, Infinity in the second position corresponds to the H in shake. It means the letter I'm covering is present in your guess and in the correct position. So shake and thick ball share that. And then we have this uh, cube corner type thing. Um, the K in shake covering, but you're not in the correct position. So here it's showing, yeah, that... This would actually correspond, that's correct. So when you guess thick, instead of showing up in the fifth position, you actually get it corresponding to where it should go in the answer. So when we guess the G, we, sh we figured that it's either correct or in the, it, ha it had to be correct because if it was in the wrong position, it would show us the different position. Unless, oh, that's what it means. Okay, I got that wrong. One of these letters, one of these um, five letters, not the G. We've now learned that this purple doesn't correspond to something that's correct. So one of these other four, S, I, E, and A, goes in that middle position. I think the U 
there therefore has to be the star has to be in the right position so this is going to be blank u uh, s i e or a i'm going to say s most likely blank blank here um, one of these so one of these letters not the g not the u o or t actually yes it has to be o or t goes after i guess I, i'm saying after the s it doesn't have to be um but i'm fairly certain that's going to be how it goes so this can't be the h because otherwise it would be a star so h and g are not in the puzzle when I fill this in here, it has to be something that's not already on the board as well, because none of these showed up in the first position. So I'm going to go with the word musty. And if I spell it right, I will hit enter. And we got musty. That is really cool. Um, I played it yesterday to try and figure that out, but that's when I... Um, I lost to try and figure out how this worked back and forth because I was under the assumption these symbols aligned with the original guess. They do not. Um, that's really interesting. So in the first guess, Aegis, that S belonged in the third position is why this purple one showed up here. We got the U correct, and then the purple one went away because we didn't have an S, but we got a new one because we had a T that went there very interesting puzzle a lot of a lot of extra logic goes into that you can't just assume you know what these symbols mean although the star does really uh, I think appropriately show that um, this is where it goes there's no reason it had to be that symbol however very interesting very fun I like the concept a lot I'm gonna probably end up coming back to this one quite frequently um, absolutely strange um, twist on the puzzle with those two very small but significant changes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily word puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.